<laughs> so, so you know, a lot of a lot of people have given us the tips that when they're teaching um, inheritance in Java, they draw you know stack and heap diagrams and things like that. Something I think is really helpful is making that concrete. So it's helpful to me to be able to refer to a specific object. So this is my childhood. Um, it's actually a puppet. My childhood puppet um, that I can bring to class. And it has a label that says, I am a dog. And I use the head first Java strategy of referring to Java references as remote controls. Uh, let me get my dog. So I have. A dog remote control, which is just a cereal box covered in paper, um, <laughs> that I can then point to my dog. Um, and then if I can keep everything balanced, <laughs> I also have, you know, maybe my parent class is an animal. And so I have my parent class remote control, which also points to my dog. Um, and so it, it's, I think, really helpful to be able to, to talk through the scenarios where, you know, what if, what if two things are pointing to this same dog, and they um, one of them calls a method that modifies this dog? Mm -hmm. um, then, like, it, I think it's sort of intuitive using the remote paradigm from, or the remote metaphor from Headverse Java to be able to think about what happens to this dog. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then I have a, n a number of other animals that I that make appearances in my. <laughs>